what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? People across Africa have been sharing troubling videos of their experience living in China over the past month with multiple clips going viral showing Kenyans, Nigerians, Ugandans, and others being attacked or refused service amid unfounded suspicions that African residents have COVID-19. Multiple people from across Africa have shared similar stories of immediately being contacted by Chinese government officials after posting videos of their negative experiences to social media. Multiple African nationals living in Chinese cities have reported the same story. Because they face open discrimination, they started taking video of the situations and posting it to social media. Well, now they're getting visits from Chinese government officials demanding that they take the post down or else. Now they got a new video that's circulating of a pregnant woman and her partner being refused service at a maternity hospital in Dongguan. Anybody surprised? Hell no, we're not surprised. So the shakedown is in full effect. Got to be very careful with these uh, Chinese uh, government officials because they will take you out. They're already taking their own people out. You know, that whole organ hustle they got going on, they kill their people by the, in, in droves. So you know they have no problem killing Africans. And if something really was to pop off, what could any nation in Africa actually do anyway? This is why I'm all for Africa arming itself. If something was to pop off, they cannot defeat not one power nation. They can't get at U.S., they can't get at China, they can't get at Russia. It'd be a wrap. But they could affect the economy with trade. China do a lot of trading with Africa. And they're over there right now buying up everything. The African leaders can just say, you know what? Man, we'd rather starve than be robbed. We'd rather starve than let y'all come over here and take our land and take over our, our government. Because that's what they're going to do. You know, once you get the money, then you get the power. In this case, once you get the money, you get the land, then you get the power. It's a wrap, man. It's over. These African nations better tread very, very lightly on doing business with the Chinese government. I wouldn't do business with them at all. If I was an African leader, man, I'd take those resources right there where I'm at and we'll make it work. We're going to make it work. We don't have to be the rich, richest nation in Africa, but we will be self-sufficient. And I would build a military. I'm, I got to protect myself, man. I'm not going to just be out here any kind of way. Now, the Chinese government made the pregnant woman and her spouse do a propaganda video denying that they had been treated badly. Because the first video, they, they initially did a video showing how bad they was being treated and they was being refused service. So they got a visit from the Chinese government officials who forced them to make a new video talking about how nice and accommodating government officials had been to them and how they visited the hospital and everything was cool and they said they took them shopping and all kinds of stuff. Turns out it was a total lie. After government officials forced them to make a follow-up video bragging about how kind they were, the Chinese embassy in Uganda 
posted this on Twitter. Actually, Derek and Daisy, who by the way, overstayed their visas, recorded this video recently to express their appreciation to the Chinese people who had helped them out. We wish they have a healthy baby soon. Derek said the Chinese government contacted him after the video first went viral and brought his wife to another hospital. He shared audio from a recording where you can hear a Chinese government official explain that they wanted the couple to shoot the video that was eventually shared by the Chinese embassy Twitter account. The shopping trip in the video ended up being fake as well. After being brought to a mall, Derek says Chinese officials left them there to pay for everything and provided no assistance. Chinese, they went out of their way to post on Twitter how they wish the couple well, but they stuck it to them with, yeah, by the way, the visas had expired. Come on, fam. It's cold-blooded what they're doing to those people out there. Refuse them services. Won't allow them to shop. Won't allow them to rent hotels or rent an apartment. Won't allow them to fly back home. It's almost like they want them to just die in the streets. We we'll try to starve them out. They have forbidden vendors from doing business with them. Cold game, man. Every last one of those officials over there, especially the ones who put the order in place. Your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?